I'm Jim Schmidt. I'm going to show you how I locate the posts on this tenor sax I'm building. Starting at the small end with a tape measure, measure down, draw a line. That's where the post locates. This is a post or combination post because there's several posts in one. It's what I call a bridge. It locates right here below the line. Now you notice that these posts or bridges have holes in them that are larger than the axles. That's because we're going to take a bushing that fits over the axle, insert it in the post, and soft solder it. Now the other end of this axle has a threaded bushing. We're going to take that threaded bushing, put that in another post, and soft solder it. Now the advantage here is that we can adjust the distance between the posts and tighten up the key work without having to swedge the keys. Now some of these posts need pivot screws. This is a bushing with a pivot screw in it. So we're going to soft solder this bushing with a pivot screw into one post and soft solder another bushing with a pivot screw in another post so we can trap an axle between them. This is a simple jig that I use to locate the posts on the body when I'm soldering the posts to the body. Over here we've got a long axle that runs through and is threaded into this bushing. There's also a bushing here that the axle goes through and there's a piece of tubing between the two bushings that's to the correct length. And this is a clamp collar that's used to pinch everything tightly together so it's the correct width. Down here we have a spring and this is used to temporarily clamp the post onto the body during soldering. I've got six of them all the way along here. Now this center section here has two pivot screws. A pivot screw here and a pivot screw here. These bushings both are going to take pivot screws but right now there's a small diameter wire running through the inside of those bushings and there's a clamp collar on each end to keep it all tight together so it's the right width. Now down over here we've got the same thing but with a threaded bushing here and a bushing here that the axle fits through with another piece of tubing in between but this time we've added a disc here and a disc here with a wire going to the axle. That way when you go into higher production you can just locate the, the posts off the tone holes so everything comes out right. Now these discs are locating discs. They fit inside the tone holes and then the wire is soldered into the center of the disc and then soldered to the axle. We can do this all up and down the horn to locate all the posts the correct distance from the tone holes. This bushing is eight millimeters in diameter and its purpose is to set the level and position of the axle so it's the same as the surface of this brass disc. The object is to get the top surface of this tone hole level with the approximate center of the axle. This is a set of wooden V-blocks that I use to hold the body while we're soldering on the posts. Here are the posts that have been soldered onto the body and the bushings that have been soldered into the posts. These are the springs that temporarily clamp the posts onto the body during soldering. This is a long axle and the piece of tubing that is used to determine the distance between the bushings when I'm soldering them. This piece here is another piece of tubing with a smaller diameter wire going through it and this smaller diameter wire goes through the pivot bushings and these clamping collars are used to clamp the whole assembly together during soldering. Over here we've got another piece of tubing used to locate the distance between the bushings but this piece has locating discs that go into the tone holes 
and they're connected to the tubing with these wires. That way the posts come out the correct distance from the tone holes. You can use this technique all up and down the body. This is the underside of the locating discs showing the part that fits inside the tone hole. This is a very simple arrangement that I use to locate the posts when I'm soldering them to the body.